Hey folks, just a reminder to check out my other channel, How to Rock Spirit, where I talk about everything under the sun, from astrology to mysticism to psychedelic yoga to practical materialism and philosophy too. Hope to see you there. Namaste. Good afternoon folks, my name is Dustin Cormier and you guys are watching How to Rock a Campfire. Today's lesson is on a tune called If I Were a Carpenter. I believe it's originally by Tim Hardin. And uh, you know, I always thought that Johnny Cash did the original of this, because uh, I think my mom used to play it a lot. And um, I never really got, the, the Johnny Cash just does a really weird rhythm going on for this, for when he plays this song. Um, I am going to show you guys my idea of how Johnny Cash does this song before uh, I show you the Tim Harden thing and the, the uh, Robert Plant thing, because I also love the Robert Plant version as well. Even more, I mean, that's the one that I know the most, to be honest with you. Um, I'm a Led Zeppelin guy, and, you know, Robert Plant is kind of my thing more than the other guys. Uh, but I want to show you what Johnny Cash does, just really quick. Uh, from what I know of it, like I said, the rhythm's really weird, the way Johnny Cash does it. Uh, that's the best thing I can think of, is that it's the G chord. I'm using my second finger on the third fret of the E string there. Uh, and you, uh, He's going from the seventh to the eighth of the chord. And then he just kind of comes into the, just the regular G chord. Anyway, so his way of playing this tune is that it comes into the F, to the C, and then to the G. So it's sort of like the song that uh, Johnny Cash does is in B flat, because uh, the capo's on the third fret, and you're doing a G chord. A G moved up three frets is a B flat chord, and then you're going, you know, um, I guess A flat, and then E flat, and then B flat. Um, but anyway, I'm going to speak of the chords just like the actual chord shape that you're seeing, right? I'm uh, going F. If I were a carpenter, you were a lady, would you marry me anyway? Would you have a baby? And then that's what Jude Carter Cash does it. If I were a carpenter, if you were a carpenter and I was a lady, I would marry you anyway. I'd have your baby. I think that she just repeats the other side, the girl side for every lyric, right? Yeah, my baby. And then the chorus is like, save my love through loneliness, save my love through sorrow. I've given you my holiness, give me your tomorrow. Damn, I can't sing it, but I. I you guys can see the chords that are there, right? And the F, save my love through loneliness, save my love through sorrow. I'm giving, and then it's F, C, and G again, right? I just want to show you guys that just to kind of give you the roughest thing ever as to, you know, what's going on for that song. I can't even do the cover of it because it's so weird compared to the version that I'm used to anyway. Um, I'm pretty sure that Tim Harden actually, when he wrote the song originally, he does it uh, in the same sort of way that Robert Plant does it here. If I were a cop, and you were a lady, would you marry me anyway? Would you have my baby? And his words are also different. Um, I think that Robert Plant took the Johnny Cash words and gave him more of a Tim, the original Tim Harden feel, right? Um, if a trinker were my trade, would you still find me? And it's a very folk song, so a lot of the times he just makes his own rhythm kind of thing, you know? It's just kind of him going with the chords. Uh, with almost like no rhythm. Uh, but him just doing the words on top of it because it's like a poem, right? Uh, beautiful poem. I like. I, I love the lyrics for this song. Um, and so the way he does it is then he goes to that C to the D, C to the D. Uh, 
I save my love through sorrow, save my love through loneliness. I'll give you my tomorrow. Love me only. Uh, I'm pretty sure he does that. Uh, I've given you my tomorrow. Love me only. And so what I'm doing for that, um, I mean, I'll show you. Anyway, I've tried to show you that there's a difference here and stuff. Uh, the Tim Harden version is the same pretty much as the Robert Plant version, so I'm going to explain the version that I know, which is the Robert Plant version, and then hopefully that will give you guys a sense of how to do the Tim Harden version as well, because it's the same chords. Um, what you're doing is you're going from this D chord, uh, you take your second finger off, and you put it on the third fret of the A string, and that makes like a, basically, it's like a, And then what you do, uh, because, you know, uh, you're doing the D chord, uh, the add ninth of the, you know, without the C on the bass, the add ninth is the high E note. Uh, the D note is regular in D, and then so is the A. Um, so you're doing like a D add ninth, but with a C on the bass note. Uh, and then the next chord is basically G uh, with a B on the bass note. Just basically, you're taking your G chord, uh, and you're taking your third, your second finger off the third fret, so that all you hear is really that, like, uh, the B note of the chord, of the bass part of the chord. And you want to keep your third finger anchored on the B string the whole time on the third fret, because uh, that is your anchor. That's kind of what makes it, like, a lot easier to play through all the chord, because that finger never changes. If you were a lady, would you marry me anyway? Would you have a baby? Uh, and then um, the Robert Plant version, they do a thing where it's like... Oh, I guess that's only after the second verse. The tinker were my tree. and then that's when you go into the chorus. Save my love through loneliness. Save my love through sorrow. Um, but I should mention that this little, sorry. Um, carrying the pots I made, following behind me. This part down, 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 down. They don't do that in the Tim Harden version. I wanted to mention that. Uh, anyway, so then... Um, the Robert Plant version. Save my love through loneliness. Save my love through... Uh, actually, you know, what's even better to do is just the straight C part here. Save my love through loneliness. Save my love through sorrow. I'm giving you my loneliness. Give me your tomorrow. At the very end of the chorus, uh, Robert Plant's band goes, I'm giving you my loneliness, give me your tomorrow. Uh, they kind of do that once or twice, I think. And what I'm doing there is I'm accenting these notes in between actually playing the chord, right? And what those notes are is uh, D, Chuck, G string, which is your open G string, G string, then upstroke, then uh, with my second finger I hit the, um, I hit the F note, which is the third fret of the D string. So it's like down up down up down up down 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 up down up down up. Yeah, that's a little bit confusing, but...
<laughs> Johnny Cash. Uh, anyway, so you guys can see what I'm getting at here. Um, so I'm going to play through the whole Robert Plant version because that's the version that I know the best. And um, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys dig this and I hope I do it justice. I really love this song. It's a really, really nice tune. Good guitar tune for sure to be able to learn how to do all these little funny little chords without doing like, you know, the fact that you're doing like that G slash B chord. Uh, it's a G chord on the face with a B on the bass. Um, it's always an awesome chord to be able to use. I just love this. It's beautiful sort of accents going on in there, right? Um, yeah, so uh, this is If I Were a Carpenter, and I hope you guys dig it. sure if they go to a third chorus on the Robert Plant version, but anyway, I guess that was the Dustin Cormier version for God's sake, so that'll, that's how that turned out. Um, but the whole thing is there. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys, uh, I hope you guys dug that. That was, uh, If I Were a Carpenter, written by Tim Harden, uh, and, uh, I tried to do the Robert Plant version. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, folks. My name's Dustin Cormier. I'm How to Rock a Campfire, and I'll see you guys on the flip. <laughs>